Okay, now let's think about a stream, a stream of values where the value is constant. This is what this video is about. But before that, I kind of want to refactor our code. I want us to look back and think about how could we refactor our code. Uh, because, you know, just doing car and CDR, you, as you probably know by now, I hate these two function names. So I'd like to abstract it so that it becomes a bit more obvious what we're doing. So um, instead of car, what we want is given a, a stream, what we want is give me the value. So I'm going to define a function called define stream get. Uh, given a stream, it returns the value, right? The value that is next to be processed. And then I want to define something called define stream next that advances to the next um, pair. So what I want to do is now I want to call this 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 funny business. Okay, now I want to rename this so that it's not talking about stream. No cars, no CDRs. So just directly what the meaning of the functions. Make it a bit more explicit. stream next okay stream next and finally okay I need to fix the parenthesis this one is fixed this is fixed Oh, this is okay this is also fixed and finally this one See if it's fixed one more okay oh okay and as you can see this is kind of boring to keep saying i want the zero i want the next so what we could do next is why don't we just write something that skips uh, an elements I hope this is not a homework assignment. <laughs> I, think. I don't think it is. Uh, so if I have a, a stream S, I want to skip the next X elements. So I'm going to say how many elements. So this is the stream S and uh, element count to be skipped. Um, so how would I do this? Well, I do, I'm ranging over the element count, right? So I want to do a condition there. Uh, and I want to say, uh, is this smaller, is the element count um, smaller or equal than zero? If that's the case, then I should just return the stream. Otherwise, um, what I should do is I should do stream skip and I advance the stream. Sorry for the simulation. Uh, and I decrement the counter minus element count one. See if this still works. Okay, I didn't do much. Uh, so now uh, I can do stream ref. So in this case, it's correct. Uh, but here, let's say I want to do instead of two stream uh, next, I could do stream skip, and I skip uh, one two. Okay. Kind of, kind of refactoring the code, see if it's still the same thing. Uh, two, 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 parentheses. Oh, sorry, the, the value should be flipped. Okay, so now it's working. So let's do stream skip here. Um, now I don't want any of this. I want to skip three elements. All right, so now the code looks a bit better. Um, I'm always doing stream get and then stream skip. So why don't I just do stream ref that does both? So define stream ref. And I take a, a stream and I do element uh, index. And what that does is uh, it does a stream get, right? Of stream skip s index. Okay, so this has a bit of a weird thing, which is you kind of have to recompute the whole thing over and over. But for now, I mean, 
you know, we're, we're, whenever you do a next, you're actually computing, you're calling the thunk. So this is kind of bad in the sense that you're losing, um, you're recomputing the thing over and over, but for the sake of um, presentation, let's just do that. So now I want to clean this. Oops. I want to do one. Oops. Ref. Now it fits. Yay. Finally put this here. Stream ref. Remove this. Remove parenthesis. See if this still runs. Okay, things are still working. Ah, now we can do four. We can do 16 without breaking a sweat. Okay, beautiful. So I kind of cleaned up the code. And now what I would like us to do is try to write a new stream, which is a uh, constant. So this is going to always return the same value over and over. Okay, so I'm going to take a constant. So this is the value I want to return. What do I return? It's return cons of the value and then return a thunk, right? With a thunk, with a stream. What is that stream? It's going to be the const of value. Right? So now I want to copy paste this. I want to return it. And I want to call const of 10. Const 10. Okay, so if I'm reading the zero, first, second, third, and fourth position of the stream, and this is a constant stream, it should always return the same value. Yay, that's what it's doing. Great, so let, let me just introduce a mistake just so you're absolutely sure I'm not. Okay, as you can see, it does work. Okay, let's see. So we have stream get, stream next. Um, and we have the implementation. Again, this is the other style in the previous style. I kind of like this new style a bit better. Also because it matches um, matches our initial slide, right? All right? We said that a stream is cons some value thunk stream, cons some value thunk stream, right? So that kind of makes it closer to what I put in the spec right here. Okay, so we saw a few examples. Oh, you might have noticed that there's I'm using currying here because Racket does provide currying. And this is saying currying on the right, which means um, you're going to do x smaller than x smaller than. So the value appears on the... I don't know what r means here, but I guess that's what it means. So these, are, these first two are equivalent to the second following two. Powers of two, we've implemented stream constant. Uh, okay, so this is just a few uh, common examples. Common examples that could happen is, I just, I did, I did one actually while I was coding, is if you forget this thunk here, um, your program will hang. Um, and it hangs because it's not delaying evaluation, and therefore it's kind of allocating the whole, it's not kind, it is allocating the whole data structure in memory, which is not good. So that, you don't want that. So if your program hangs, it, it means you somehow forgot to put thunk on the right place. Um, it al could also be a problem if you put thunk here, um, because the, the thing has to start with cons. So just be, keep that in mind. Um, what else? So in this case, uh, the problem was if the body contains constator and eva is evaluated, this function does not terminate. Yeah, so it's the example I was showing. 
Um, okay, next, what we want to do is we want to implement a stream of natural numbers. 